What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're continuing our series on advanced tips for working in SketchUp free by talking about selections. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is another part in my series talking about how to use SketchUp free. I will link to the entire playlist in the notes below this video. But in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about selections and we're gonna start simple and we're gonna kind of get more advanced as we go. So first off, obviously the easiest way to select things is to click on them, right? So you can single click using your mouse in order to select them. Now, if you wanna select multiple things, you can click on an object and hold the shift key and notice how you get the plus and minus here. Well, that means that you can click on objects in your scene to add them to your selection. Now, because we're holding shift and there's also a minus in there, you can click on objects again in order to remove them from your selection. Now, you can also select objects by dragging a box across them. And so let's talk about that real quick and then we'll come back to this. So there are actually two different ways that you can drag a box across objects in order to select them. And they're both very valuable. So the first is you can click and drag. Right? And if you click and drag, the direction that you drag is going to make a difference. Notice how the kind of box that's drawn when I click and drag in here is going to change based on if I'm dragging from right to left or left to right. Now, if I drag from left to right, like this, notice how your box is solid. What that means is that means that you are currently in a mode where it is only going to select things that are 100% inside of this box. So notice if I, was, if I was to let up right here, this line and this line are not in the box, meaning they're not going to get selected. That makes selecting things like one side of a box or something like that really easy because you can just do a um, left to right selection right like this. Now, say you wanted to pick up more. Well, what you can do is you can drag a box from right to left. And when you do that, you're gonna get a bounding box that's dotted in here, right? And so that dotted means that it's going to select anything that is either inside of the box or anything that the box touches. So if I was to click and drag across here, notice how even though these faces aren't fully in the box, they're still going to be selected. So we can use this in order to select basically anything that our bounding box touches like this. So left to right only selects what's in the box, right to left selects everything the box touches. So now let's go back to our edges here and take a look at this because you can also modify this using your keyboard keys. So remember we talked about how the shift key is going to put you in plus or minus mode. Well, you can also hold either the control key or the control and shift keys in order to go into add or subtract only mode. So let's say that I was to select all of these lines. Well, if I was to do a shift and a control and hold that down, now notice how I can drag a box and we're in minus select mode. That means that anything this touches is going to get deselected. That's really valuable if you have like alternating selections like this, because if you hold the shift key and then click and drag, notice how that's in plus or minus mode. That means it's going to swap the selection anytime you drag a box across it. But if I was to do a shift control and drag across this, notice how it's only going to deselect things, it's not going to select things. Alternatively, you could just hold the control key in order to only add things to the selection like this. So now you could drag this all the way across and add all of these to the selection with no problems. And so one thing to note about this is those left to right bounding boxes are going to work not only with edges and faces, but also with objects. So what that means is that means that if I was to click and drag from left to right over these objects, right? And notice how I'm touching some of them. I'm all the way over others. It's only going to select the ones that are 100% inside of this bounding box, right? So if I was to click and drag right here, it's only going to select these two boxes. But if you were to click and drag from right to left like this, notice how any object that this touches is also going to be selected. Now, this is also going to work with your add or subtract modes. So if I was to hold control and shift and drag a box, this is going to deselect anything this box touches. And the same way, if you drag from left to right, it's going to deselect anything that's in the box right here. So you can use this to really quickly select and deselect objects. 
Now, one thing that I find especially helpful, and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make one more copy of this right here. Okay, so another thing that I find helpful a lot of the time is being able to use the hidden geometry inside of an object as a part of a selection. So, for example, I've got these three spheres in here. And so right now, all I can do is just select the overall sphere like this. I can triple click and I can see the hidden geometry in here and then I can do like a shift click like this. Um, that is one other way to do selections on this, but it's not really especially great. What I wanna do is I wanna pick up some of the geometry in this object. And so I can do that by going into my display settings, which is basically the glasses that are right here. If I click on the glasses, notice how I have an option in here to view hidden objects, which we don't want, but we also have an option to select or view hidden geometry. So what that means is that means that when we toggle our hidden geometry on, now we can come in here and we can select the individual parts and pieces that make up an object. So for example, say I wanted to cut a hole in here, what I could do is I could come in here and I could shift click and individually select these different faces that are in here like this. Well, because I can select them as independent geometry, I could come in here and I can delete them out, giving me the ability to cut holes in objects and other things like that. Now, this can be especially helpful if you want to like cut an object in half for example. So what we could do, right, is we could come in here and we could do a selection like this, select this whole thing, and then do a delete. And what I can do is I can delete out half of this object by selecting the hidden geometry in here. Now, one thing about that though, is I didn't get it exactly perfect. And that is due to the camera direction that I had in this object. So your camera really kind of affects the way that you can select objects inside of SketchUp. So what we wanna do is instead of having a view like this where I'm trying to like pick out little pieces of geometry and other things like that, what I wanna do instead is I wanna go into my view settings really quick or my scene settings and I wanna to toggle us out of perspective mode and into parallel projection mode. When I toggle us into parallel projection mode, what that means is that means that these parallel lines or these visibility lines are no longer going towards a vanishing point. They run parallel to each other. So those are the perspective lines in the model. Well, what that means is that means that I can now have true plan views or elevation views, right? So I can go straight top down like this. Well, now if I drag a box like this, this is going to pick up everything that's inside of the box and I can know that I've been able to pick up the proper geometry in here without actually picking up any of this other stuff. Now you do wanna be a little bit careful with where you place your lines, but notice how I can come in here and select all of that. Well, now if I hit delete, right, I was able to completely cut this object in half. If we go into the front elevation view right here, we can do the same thing, right? Where it's really easy to pick up this geometry that makes up half of our object. So I can come in here and select this and I can delete it out just like this. So you can use your view in order to make selections easy as well. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this, if you knew about these tips, or if there's anything that I missed. I just love having that conversation with you guys. I will link to my SketchUp free essentials playlist on this page if you're looking for more SketchUp free tips. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.